um, the, the passing exactly of the legislation. That's 2011 is when the start, parliament started processing the legislation. But legislation actually was only finalized. Uh, um, you know, it went through parliament um, beginning of the year of 2018. But um, in preparation for the finalization of the legislation, the two entities, both the Financial Services Board and um, the Registrar of Banks, have been working in putting in place the systems in order to make sure that there is a seamless, seamless transition from uh, the, 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 the old um, um, regime. Minister, now we have two regulatory bodies, if you will, with the Prudential being housed within the South African Reserve Bank and the Financial Sector Conduct Authority being largely what the FSB used to do. What is the significant difference between these two entities and aren't we just overburdening the system with layers of regulation? Actually, you're simplifying the system such that the two are able to focus uh, on the two, because the Prudential Authority now focuses on the Prudential side of the uh, financial services in general, rather than regulating the, uh, the sector. It regulates now the, 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 uh, the financial um, soundness of the institutions. Whilst this side, you'll find that, and the, in the past, you would recall that the bank uh, the, the bank supervision would only be focusing on the banking sector, whilst the non-banking sector would still fall under the FSB, with the FSB not having a clear focus, because it would have to do both the financial soundness but also the conduct. Now, this time around, we are saying, let's, let's now focus on regulating um, the, the function rather than regulating the institutions. The institutions themselves have various uh, functions. So now the market conduct side of even the banking um, uh, side will be regulated with the financial um, um, uh, conduct regulation. Minister, most people hear that the FSB is no longer, they worry, where do I go now, what happens? Uh, my question, I guess, within the, the bigger layer of things is we surely expect some gradual progress yeah. to be phased in with the, the financial sector conduct authority and the prudential side as well. How actually, can people yeah. expect... Actually, both of them now are up and running. The, uh, the prudential authority is up and running and uh, it is doing what it is supposed to do. And um, the um, financial sector conduct um, um, authority is also now up and running. And that is why we were only just launching the brand today. They, um, as you have had Caroline talking about uh, the various divisions that are now beginning to interact with um, the industry in various ways and introducing themselves, but at the same time beginning to, as we said, that part one, one of the things that are different is that this time around, they are going to be intrusive, which means they are actually going to be proactive rather than waiting for, for issues to be raised. The body will finally oversee retail banking in South Africa, an area that South Africans have not necessarily had a good time with. And adding to the, to the layer, of course, is the, there's been a lot of talks around banks and the emergence of banks. Yes. Can you please, if you can, just elaborate a little bit on the control on the regulation of retail banking and also this new space of fintech technology. Absolutely. And that's what they actually need to, they need to stay ahead of the curve also even in that space because they need to put in place uh, systems in order to be able to regulate that space and ensure that the consumers are protected and as they say, it's also to protect the <coughs> industry itself so that it continues to execute. As you would know that in the past, um, you know, one of the things that the uh, Financial Services Board would be tasked with is that of uh, consumer education. It remains a, a key focus area. And that one also of um, a, a, a protecting uh, customers as part of the broader uh, concept, but making sure that there are also products that are being uh, put out in the market uh, in, in a user-friendly um, um, way. And, and we said that we should not only protect the elite, we should now go down and protect even, um, even the simplest of the clients of the banks in order to make sure that they are safe in, in, the, in doing business. My final question on that, Minister. Do the two entities have teeth to regulate and take retrogressive action? Absolutely. They are granted that in terms of the, of the legislation. Uh, but as we said, we are running a study also of beginning to understand exactly what could be the gaps because we would want to close that area as well in making sure that the protection is actually not just in word but in deed.